Whenever I make a Thomas and Friends character, I normally have a dilemma. Do I make the character in my style, or do I make the character how it's supposed to be? And 9 times out of 10, my style beats out the latter. Really, I just find it more fun that way. And while I have infinite respect for railway series modelers or CGI modelers, TVS modelers, literally all of them, my personal preference is just kind of doing whatever, and finding whatever fits your needs or wants. I think the engine that personifies this the most is my Dean Goods James, which is probably my favorite custom to date, but also sort of led me down a rabbit hole. If James could be a Dean Goods, other characters could be anything, but who would I model next? After some quick planning, a quick trip to the hobby store, and a very lucky Hattons listing, I decided that would be Percy. Since one besides James, he's my favorite character, and two, the Peckett Percy I made a while ago just was a project I never ended up finishing. The Peckett itself just felt kinda too big for Percy, and as a whole it was something I felt I could do way better on. Then came the Pug, specifically the LNYR Pug. Now this is a very old Hornby model, it has the oldest tooling I think you can get on a Pug. But one, it wasn't very expensive, and two, while old Hornby stuff is, well, pretty primitive, eight times out of ten, it'll withstand the test of time. So I rolled the dice and got mine. The idea to make Percy a pug is one I've had for a while, but ultimately was an idea I would side for the Peckett, since the Peckett was a basis I had at the time. More recently, I figured the pug would be a little bit more unique, and serve to make my style of Percy a little bit better. So very quickly, I had the entire model primed. Instead of using the Tamiya gray primer I normally do, this time I used their white primer, and did that in about two coats. After that came applying the Tamiya Park Green, which just like the primer encased the entire model. And since the idea of this Percy is a bit more of an industrial one, I decided against painting his wheels and pistons green, and instead once the green had dried went in with a lot of black detailing, for that using Apple Barrel Matte Black, a brush paint. Unfortunately my pug didn't come with a whistle, so instead I sourced one from a spare in-scale locomotive, and at right about this time I happened to get the capsule Percy that had the goggles. Now the plan from the jump was to use a capsule face for this model, since they're very small and happen to fit pretty well, but my fiancé saw the face with the goggles and suggested I use that one instead. At first I wasn't sure, but I took the face off anyway and gave it a shot, and basically immediately fell in love with it. So really there's no reason behind the goggles besides they look cool? But if you think about it, what engine could use them more? Percy has been buried in coal, buried alive, fallen in the ocean, smashed into a lime cart, smashed into a luggage cart. Given his track record, maybe some goggles wouldn't be a bad idea, especially being in an industrial area, which basically is the style I'm going for. I decided to do some very minimal weathering before I would apply the decals, really to decide if I wanted to add his boiler stripes. The weathering ended up taking over, so I decided against that, but very quickly added the sixes to his cab. These are LMS 00 scale transfers I got from Hattons. I also added some small ones to his front and back buffer beams. That all was sealed in with a coat of matte clear, and with the encouragement of Sodor Rai Modeler, I decided to weather this model to hell and back. Since if my James is dirty, it's really not fair Percy's all bright and clean, is it? So very quickly this Percy became, well, put upon. Which, if you've seen my recent video on that episode, you know is my favorite episode anyway. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, my Pug Percy was complete. And now that you know how I made him, why I made him, and a little bit more about my strange decisions in doing so, let's go ahead and see him in action. Oi, bro. Oh, I have it on off. Motherfucker. Also, quick note because I forgot to mention it. I did try out some normal buffers on the Pug, but honestly felt they were a little too long and didn't look right, and also constantly interlocked with the wagons I would make him pull. So I decided to go with the block buffers you see him with now. And that's also why he pulls this freight train so gracefully. Just figured I'd throw that out there in case somebody was wondering. Too 
strokes and she still kept hope. And so I keep hope and keep focus. Hands on the bar, cause life's a roller coaster. Even in death, life is never over. Legacy says a fall around in the seven seas. But I'm looking for something that's more heavenly. And when I die, I'm taking music, you in death for me. <laughs> I'll just smoke them. And I'll roll them. Now. Really quick, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons. Since videos and projects like this wouldn't be possible without their help, if you want to support the channel more or see videos like this early, I recommend checking that out. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more trained content. There's always more stuff on the way. And if you couldn't tell already, this small collection I've started is definitely going to start growing. I'm still trying to decide on what'll be next, or I guess who will be next, but either way, I promise it won't be too long until you guys find out. These projects have been some of my favorite in a long time, and I know at the beginning of this video I said the Dean Goods James was my favorite, but he may have to move over a spot. I'm not saying he's not my favorite, but just like in real life, with the actual characters, I think both of these two will have to serve as my favorite, just like how James and Percy serve as my favorite Thomas characters. So really it only feels right that these two are the first completed in this collection anyway. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this next installment and such, and as always, guys, thanks again for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.